What is up guys, Giants and Ami01 here with yet another FIFA 16 tutorial. In this one, we're going to be focusing on passing, specifically the newest pass in FIFA 16, which is the Driven Pass. Later on, I'll have a tutorial on regular passing, all-around passing, but this one's going to be focusing on that new move. How is this move performed? Well, you want to press the RB button if you're on Xbox or the R1 button if you're on PlayStation and press the Pass button at the same time. So you want to combine those two buttons and that will make sure that you do a Driven and pass here I'm gonna be showing you some skill games and showing you the differences between a regular pass and a driven pass so here are my first examples I'm showing you just regular passes you can see that the ball comes out much slower it is much slower getting to the, your teammate and if there were defenders behind my teammates they would probably be able to intercept it because interceptions on defense are so much easier than in previous games because they have faster reflexes now, here you're going to see me using the driven pass. And you can see that right away that the ball comes out much quicker. Look at this pass right there. It gets to your teammate much quicker. And this allows you to get the ball before the defender's able to react and intercept the ball away from you. It is important to note that you must face your teammate before you take any type of pass in FIFA 16. So many mistakes are made because people try to just do these random passes. You must square up with your shoulders to the person you're going to pass to before you start applying the power for your pass. So here I'm going to show you some in-game examples. Right away, right here, you can see that my shoulders are not squared with the person I'm trying to pass it to, the circle on the top of your screen. Instead, my shoulders are squared diagonally towards where the goal would be and you can see that the power is already being placed so it is too late for that to change I could be already moving my left stick towards where I want to pass it to but it is too late because I already started applying power and my shoulders are not squared with my intended receiver what happens when you do that is that it's gonna be of an even worse first touch already in FIFA 16 first touches are really quite bad especially if you don't have very good players if you do that without facing your teammate and passing the ball, the ball is going to come out in the air. It's going to go way too powerful, and the first touch is going to be terrible. Here we're going to see another example. Once again, I am not facing my teammate who's to the left of me. Instead, I am facing forward towards goal, and my power is already starting to be placed, so it is too late to change that. And because of that, my player was unable to control the ball. The ball came out way too erratic. What the driven pass is so successful at is if you want to switch the pitch. If you find that your opponent likes to apply a lot of pressure, likes to overplay one side of the pitch, in order to gain some space, you're going to want to switch the pitch. And this is perfect to switch it from one side to the other with your defensive back line, with your center defensive mid, and gain a little bit of space, a little bit of time to look for people that are making some runs. The biggest pro, though, of this move is that you can squeeze passes into tight spaces. I bet you guys have been in these positions where you're right next to the penalty box and you just can't get a pass into your striker no matter what you do because the defenders, the reflexes in FIFA 16 are so quick and they can make such good interceptions that you just can't get that one last pass in order to score the goal. Well, this is where this move comes in handy. This is where this move really shines. In this example, you can see that my guy is doing a driven pass. And if I would have just done a regular pass, you would have seen that that guy would have gone towards that arrow and been able to cut off the pass and been able to intercept it before my player could get to it. But because I do a driven, because it was so powerful and gets to my player so quickly, there was no time for the defender to react. And I was able to get the ball once again here another example look at all the defenders there that if I would just take a regular pass to try passing into the striker they would be able to intercept it you try to do a regular pass all those defenders since they're so clogged up when they're right next to the goal they're gonna be able to intercept that pass more often than not so in order to increase your chances of actually getting to the striker getting into your attackers you want to do a driven pass one of the biggest cons of this move is that it is going to affect your first touch badly most of the time. Already in FIFA 16, first touches are extremely difficult. If you don't really have those really good players, you're going to have a lot of times where the ball is going to get to your feet and it's just going to bounce off terribly and the defender is going to be able to take it away from you. If you do the driven pass because it is so much more powerful, the chances of a bad first touch increase a little bit. Especially if you don't, like I said before, face your teammate before you take the pass. If you do want to go on the counterattack, if you do want to get the ball quickly up the pitch, the best way to do it 
is with this driven pass as you're going to see here in these examples is a great way to get it all the way from your back line up forward towards the front of the pitch and start going on the counter attack you do these moves you're going to catch the defenders by surprise they're not going to have time to react they're not going to have time to intercept the pass and you're going to be able to get away on these breakaways as you're seeing in these situations it's a really really helpful way to catch your opponent off guard because most people think that they no longer have to worry about breakaways they no longer have to worry about these quick exchanges but if you do this pass you're going to blow right by them a lot of the time especially if you have really pacey players and you're going to be able to get away on those counterattacks and really make the most of your situations but that's basically it guys that's basically my fifa 16 driven pass tutorial i really would appreciate if you guys could like share this video comment send it to as many people as you can check out my other tutorials on the left i have defending tutorials i have a fake shot tutorial a ground shot tutorial all types of tutorials and there are many more coming click on the right if you want to see my ultimate team tip videos where i try to make you guys better at fifa 16 as well and down below to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future tutorials or tip videos thanks guys